Hello everyone. Welcome back my beautiful, lovely viewers. And for those of you that are new, thank you for watching. And in case you didn't notice yet, it's my big head in the back. Yeah, I think I'm having her in all my videos. Her like it's not me, right? So, oh, it's me, Keish. For those of you who don't know, but majority of you should know, but in case not, it's me, Keish. So, I love this big head. I couldn't decide where to put it at. So, it's going to be in the back of all my videos. So that way you have both of us, right? Like I'm giving you the message and she's just implying with her eyes that, hey, make sure you're listening, right? Yes. So enjoy the both of us in this video. So today's video, let me say thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for stopping by. And I hope that you actually find value in this video. So in the comments, wherever it is that you watch this video, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, just wherever it is that you find this video, just go ahead and leave a comment and like the video. Just comment, let me know what it is that you learned from this video, which is going to be about keep pushing forward. Oh, I just gave you a cheat code there. But let me know what you enjoyed most in this video. So I was inspired to do this video because I was watching a movie. I love movies. Um, it was one night because I had been doing my homework and just doing stuff with the business and I just needed a wind down type mode. So I found the movie to watch. And the name of the movie is Late Night. So basically, I'm just, I'm not going to tell you the whole movie. You need to go watch yourself. But basically, in the movie, it was a young lady, she worked in the factory, and she wanted to be able to work for a comedian that she admired, that she just loved her jokes. She just watched her pretty much, majority of her life, she just loved this comedian. She wanted to be able to write jokes for her, right? But she worked in the factory. So what happened was she had to wait for opportunity to present itself. So opportunity came up. You don't know, she's a factory worker, no experience, don't even know the comedian, she just know of her, right? So opportunity came up. So step one in this video, an opportunity will always present itself when you're ready. And when you're just really, really ready and you, you, you work for it or whatever, right? So she was ready. Even though she had no experience, she was still ready to take advantage of this opportunity. So she took advantage of the opportunity and opportunity could have went two ways. She could either not got the job or she could get a job. Who knows? Because she doesn't have the experience, right? But sometimes it's called a being in the right right place at the right time, right? And that was her. So she ended up did, she ended up getting a job, which is great, which is what happened in life. Sometimes, like I said, when you're ready for something, opportunity will present itself, but you got to be ready and you got to be listening. Because you can say, hey, I want this. I want this job. I want this. I want to do this. I want to start a type of business. And opportunities are jumping at you. You're like, yeah, yeah, here we go. You said you're ready, you're ready, you're ready, but you're not even paying attention. You're just not even paying attention. So you got to gotta pay attention, right? So when she ended up getting a job, she ended up being like the, the Ricky on the job. You, 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 you've you been there before, right? You've been the Ricky of something, whether it's of a sport or it's the newbie at the job or the newbie at school. And it just you just feel like you just really don't fit in and you start to question why did you even even start this? Like, why? Right? So, that's what happened with her. She didn't have any writing experience. She was surrounded by her, all these all these people that have been writing for this comedian for like decades, right? So, what did she have to do? She had to basically prove herself. Because that's what happens. When you're somewhere new, no one knows you. You have to really prove yourself. Which is what I could did when I joined the military. So, I was proving a point that I don't care what you're saying about me being soft, I'm not really into sports, none of that. I know for a fact if I work hard at this, I will make it through basic training. Yeah, it was tough. Yeah, I might, I might even cry a little, but shh, don't tell anybody. But I made it through. I went through all the tasks and I made it through regardless. So same thing with her. She had her, her haters saying, you know, hey, you like, where did you even go to school? You know, oh, you're a factory worker. Like, oh, wow, really? And you think you can write? Number two, so the first one was always be ready for your opportunity. Number two lesson is ignore your haters because they will be around. You're going to have people that's it's just what they do. They're just going to shoot you down and try to bring you down to where, because it, it might be a fear thing too. Nine times out of ten, it's normally a fear thing because they see something so powerful in you that you might surpass them. And they try to just nitpick at you and get you and get your feelings hurt and get you just knocked down which is what happened in the video I mean in the in the movie so she got knocked down a couple of times and 
she had someone there to to guide her. You always have someone who you might not know, but they're watching. It's always someone watching, listening, paying attention to you. So someone gave her a word of advice, and she took that advice. What's that? Someone gave her a word of advice. Lesson number three. You will, after you get the opportunity, you got to know your haters because they're going to be trying to push you down and you're going to need some motivation. But you have to be able to listen. You have to search for that mentor or that person that will just give you that, that word of encouragement to keep you pushing forward, but you have to listen, right? So she took that advice and she implemented that. And before you know it, not only did the comedian actually start to get to know her and the writers start to become like friends with her and start to actually listen to her to the joke because she has some very very good jokes but no one would ever have known from her coming from the factory worker from her not having any experience for her just no one knowing her no one would have ever known and she didn't take the advice she didn't take the opportunity and she didn't ignore her haters she just kept pushing forward and she finally got to where it is that she wanted to be in life she finally reached her set goal so in life now just like in Sometimes I watch football. I only watch like the main games called, what is it? Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, I watch that. Like, obviously, I don't really watch sports. But I will watch the main, like the Super Bowl, Super Bowl Final Four, stuff like that. So in football, you notice when a guy gets the, uh, what's the name? I know, I know sports called a line. I don't know what it's called, but you guys know what I'm talking about. So when they get the ball, right, they hold on to the ball, right? And then they got these, got the heavy guy come. They're very heavy. And they're trying to push through it, trying to push through, push through, push through. But they're holding on to it. It's like you hold on to your goal. You're trying to push through, push through. And then finally, they break through and they're able to jump, boom, get, make a goal. Same thing in life. You're going to have people just jumping on your back, just jumping on you, jumping on you. Metaphorically, of course, not, not physically. Jumping on you, jumping on you, just trying to pull you down, pull you down, trying to take you down with your goal, just trying to take you down. But then you realize that, okay, I can do this because you're focused. You're focused. You already did our practice. You got to this point because this is what you trained for. And you just push through, through all the negativity, through all the hate, just push them out the way, push them out the way, just all that negative energy, just uh, out the way. And you push forward and you make it to where you want to be in life. That's what it's all about. Keep pushing forward. You can't do it on your own. You know, some people say, yeah, I did some on my own. No, you didn't. Someone somewhere implanted some type of seed in you to get you going and get that thought in your head about, hey, this is the business you start. You should do this, you should do this, you should do that. So if you're at that point right now in your life where you thought things were going good, you thought they were, you're like, yeah, it's great, it's great. Then all of a sudden that one thing happens and or somebody says that one thing just crushed your dreams. And you're like, man, I don't know, I don't know. But you got to keep pushing forward. Keep that end game in mind. I just always know there's always someone or somewhere you can go to get that motivation. Even if it's coming to my YouTube videos. Or if it's just sending out an email to somebody. They got different hotlines. It's just a lot of different avenues that you can take to just get you back on track. Because that's what it took for me. I stopped making YouTube videos for a minute. But I'm back. Sidetracked for a minute. But then I had a couple of people... And they were like, hey, you should get back to making a YouTube video because I was actually getting something from it. And because to me, I thought maybe nobody watching the videos. But now I see it was because a lot of times too, another point, a lot of times too, you think people aren't paying attention. Just because nobody says anything doesn't mean they're really not watching you and paying attention. You never know who you can inspire. You don't know. So get out there. Keep pushing for your goal. Keep going. Get your message out. And I am looking forward to talking with you in some other videos. Like I said, today's main goal was to just get you to keep pushing forward. So if you're at a standstill right now in your life, it's okay, because we all go through, we all get stuck. But you gotta start to now just kind of push out of it, just, just push out of it. And start researching what it is that you need to do, whether it's to lose weight, just researching what it is that you need to do to lose weight. And start joining some different communities as far as, because you, you might be a shy person like me. So you still have online communities that you can join that help you out as well. What is if you want to write a book? You're like, man, I don't know where to start. There's so many different places online that you can find information about. What is you want to, like me, I want to be the best female veteran recurve archer in the world. So 
So what I got to do? I got to practice. I got to get around, get in that environment of people that are shooting archery or where I want to be in life. So it's just always things you can do to help you out and to keep you pushing forward in life and or your goals. So hopefully you learned something valuable from this video. Well, this to keep pushing forward. Go ahead and hashtag it and write that in the comments because this should be the main thing you learned from this video. And make sure you like this video no matter what it is where you're watching it and share it. You know, just share the video. And let me know too some things that you struggle with in life and I'll do a couple of videos on that as well. So I've hit my 10 minute mark. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and I will talk to you all in the next video. I just call it sessions. These are these are our, our 10 minute sessions. Well, 11 minutes now, but 10 minute sessions. So I'll talk to you guys in another video. Have a wonderful, prosperous, and just awesome day. Or sleep sleep tight. Either way, I don't know what time you watch this video. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next session.